Hi everyone, Sandra here. How are my booktube preds today? I hope you're all really well. Now, this is just a rambling video. There's no real point to this, but there is because I'm going to talk about some of the things that are going on. So, first things first, are you all on Litzy yet? No? Why not? Litzy's fantab fantabulous. Now, Litzy is described as if Goodreads and Instagram had a baby, it would be Litzy. So Litzy is a phone app at the moment. It's not on the website. Oh, it's not on the, you can't get onto it on a website yet. It's something they're planning. That, you just talk about books and, read, and, and rate books and discuss books. It's fantastic. So here is, <coughs> excuse me, um, the front page of Litzy. If I can find one that's actually got a picture on it because they've decided, there we are, and there's one. So there you go. That's your news feed for Litzy. Not very focused, I know, but there you go. And then you've got your own profile page, like that. And you have a lituent, lit, litfluence. So I only, I've only got one of oh, 108 because I've only been on it since last Friday. Um, and I've only put 36 books I've read on there. So, but no, it's it's really good. You should go get it. Just you know, it's available at the moment for um, iPhones, which is where it started, and it launched for Android last week. I've got an Android phone, so go and get it. It's free. It's fun. You will be addicted to it. It's just so much fun to put all your books on Litzy. I, I I really love it. I'm still putting on Goodreads as well, so don't get me wrong. I'll be using them both, but it's a good way of find out what books you might want to read if you haven't found enough already on BookTube because I haven't. That picture of my stack, I don't know if you saw it. Um, yeah, hang on a second, let's get back here. The stack is um, books I have to read and there's 92 in that stack and that's just the physical ones and that's not including all of them. Cause some of them are in here because I've got a friend who's given me a load of books and um, I haven't hauled them yet, so I'll be hauling them later in the week. Now, Spookathon, who's doing it? I'm going to be doing Spookathon. Um, Spookathon is running from the 17th to 23rd of October, so it's the week before Halloween, so that gives you plenty of time to get your trick and treat stuff and your decorations ready if you're doing that sort of thing for Halloween itself. So, Spookathon is run by Books and Lala, Pages Page. Sorry, pages, pages, and Bookily, and I will put a link to each of their channels down below. It looks like some of your fabulous weeks full of challenges, much like Booktubeathon. They've only given one challenge, and that's read a book, basically. So, so, but and basically, they they're going for thrillers, horror, horror stories, and things like that. I have bought Stephen King's *The Bizarre Bad Dreams*. I think it's called. Something anyway, I see it's a short story collection. I hauled it yesterday. I will be reading that as part of my Spookathon. The books, my friends has friend has given me a lot of those are thrillers I think there might be a couple in there that I am planning on reading for the Spookathon so I'm really looking forward to Spookathon I can't wait to see what everybody else is going to be reading for it it's going to be so much fun now I don't know about you but when I'm planning my videos I end up with lots of scraps of paper like this one that's got books and Lala's names on it and things which originally I open it up what's a shopping list and it's not because I don't have plenty of notebooks to write bookish notes on, because I have loads. Here are three of them. This is just three of them. So I have the pink one, let's pop those there for now, where I write a short synopsis of what I, th what I thought of a book for my wrap-ups. Then I have this one with the kisses on it, where I just list all the books I've read in a month. Then I have this one, that way around, which is where I write all my book reviews for my blog before I type them up because I like to freehand, I write, I write, like to write stuff by freehand. I got another one down here, excuse me, that's a, which is a big grey A4 one which I just scribble notes on it. And then I've got other ones as well because I've got uh, I've got one for quotes which I held them right in. I've got two quotes in it at the moment. What else have I got? Um, one where I list every single book I want. I want. Uh, that's about five pages long at the moment. So, and basically what happens is if I buy one, I cross it off. If I find another one, they go on there. And then what I'll do is at Christmas I'll make a Christmas list of books, DVDs, and things I want. And I will put a load of those <coughs> lists on there, books on there. 
So books, yes, back to books. I book hauled yesterday, but then I had to go to the doctor's to pick up the prescription. No, to drop one in, that's even worse. Normally I drop my prescriptions on Sunday when it's closed, I just put it through the letterbox, but I went down today to look at the books. Now, I got one book yesterday, which is one that Paul gave me that was in at his mum's house. We brought a load of his stuff back yesterday that's uh, we were trying to clear out all of his stuff and that was the Dreams from My Father by Barack Obama which I wanted to read when it came out but never did so now I'm planning on reading that and then um, in the doctor's surgery I picked up Bad Angels by Rebecca Chance which is about English Rose actress Melody Dale's big Hollywood break has left her broken her career is in tatters after too much plastic surgery and so she's back in London to get her former face and her boyfriend back so there's also <coughs> two other char main characters as well. I thought it sounded like fun. But now for the bargain of the day. Bargain of the day. Now, both these books are quite big. This is nearly, this is 540 pages. The rack of is 400 and something. But then I picked up this. The hardback of the book thief for 50p. Yes, I kid you not, 50p for this whole chunk of a book, which is nearly, 600 pages long. I never realised how long this book was. I've never read this book, but I'm really fascinated to get into it. I've wanted to pick it up for a while. So when I saw it there for 50p on the doctor's surgery charity table, it was mine. It was mine. And it's mine and nobody else is having it. So yeah, I mean, I shouldn't really go into the doctor's surgery and actually look at the books because I always buy something. I, I just can't not buy books. I don't know if I'll ever read them all. I've got over 700 on my TBR because of the, a lot of those are Kindles. Don't get me wrong. There's about 100 physical ones, but the rest are on my Kindle. And I read them when I'm on holiday and, and on my lunch breaks. So yeah, I kind of buy too many books, obviously. So yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about really. Let's see. If you're not on it, join it. I'm gonna leave my username below. Spookathon, which I'm really looking forward to. Any excuse to read more books, yay! And obviously, <coughs> excuse me, how do you keep yourself organised? Let me know how you keep yourself organised when you're making notes for, for a book tube because I'm so unorganised, I just scribble notes down and bits of paper flying everywhere, it's not good. So, yeah, that's it really. Um, yeah, leave me some more recommendations in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up. We don't want that. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you soon. Happy reading, guys. Bye.